All right, so in today's tutorial, we're gonna be using surface imperfections. I'm gonna show you how to make three unique shaders. Kind of the theory behind it really quickly is that nothing really in this world in terms of surface is perfect. Um, so if you design for that, it adds a little bit more realism for that. So I'm gonna show you how to make three of them, but I made a pack of 10 unique surface imperfections. If you're on the Patreon, you'll be getting that for free, or you can go purchase that in the description if you don't wanna join the Patreon. But I would encourage you to go check out the Patreon. I have a ton of content, tutorials, tons of assets and project files. So you can go check that out, but let's get into the tutorial. All right, so let's get in. We are here in Blender 2.8. You can just drop in any kind of model you want. I'm just gonna subdivide this guy just to get him nice and uh, smooth. I like to use spheres just to test out materials. So let's go over here to the shading and to the node editor, and let's hop on over to look dev, and I'm gonna kill that background. So I'm gonna make this guy metallic. This is really isn't um, necessary, but I, I just like to work with metallic stuff when it comes to surface imperfections. So first off, pretty much what you're always gonna do is add a color ramp first. So this time we're gonna just be working with roughness. So now let's go ahead and add in a Musgrave. So we have this Musgrave texture. Real quick, if you have the Node Wrangler add-on enabled, just hit Control T, uh, puts in a mapping and a texture coordinate, and let's put the object coordinate here into the vector. That just evens everything out when we actually turn this into a node group later on, which is gonna be really cool but we'll get into that later. So here we have some pretty garbage looking roughness. First off, let's bring the detail all the way up. Bring, um, let's bring the dimension all the way down to zero and the luminosity, bring it up to about 1.45. So now we have this guy right here and it's pretty standard. Let's bring the scale down to say three. And now we have really nice grunge. If you go here to the thumbnail image here, you can see that happening right up in here. That's where I used that roughness map. So very simple here in the Musgrave, kind of overlooked, but if you want grunge, your Musgrave texture is going to be your best friend. And if you want to play, if you say, ah, this is too much, if this is too much uh, roughness for you, you can take these colors here, say take on the black portion, you can bring it up, it makes it even more rough, or you take the white portion and bring it closer to the dark area and you get a little bit less roughness here and it's a little bit more subtle. So that's the first grunge map uh, we're going to make here. Let's go ahead and delete that. And let's go ahead and now we're gonna make some cracks. So we're gonna go and play with the bump. So we're gonna add in a bump node right down here, plug that into the normal, and let's go ahead and get a Voronoi texture. So we're gonna get here the Voronoi texture and plug that straight into the height. And actually let's get a color ramp. Like I said, you're pretty much always gonna to wanna to do that and put that right in between the two of them. So let's add that uh, texture set up here and put the object coordinate right there. So now we have this. Let's bring that strength down a little bit so we can kind of see what's going on. So we have that standard Voronoi. What we're going to do is we're going to go distance to, I believe it is Mikowski. And let's get closest here to Crackle. So now we have all this craziness. This is also its own pretty cool surface of perfection. Say we'll bring the scale up to 30, bring that distance down. Now you have kind of a cool looking area right here but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna be making cracks, a little bit more detailed here. So let's bring it back to 10. And then let's bring this color ramp and bring it all the way over here. And now we're starting to get around what we're looking for. Let's bring that scale to five. So now we have this. They're not quite cracks yet. They're more scratches and cracks. They're more scratches than cracks, but again, another surface imperfection you can um, catalog here in your uh, stuff. So let's go here, texture coordinate, noise texture get the noise texture and we're going to be adding detail in here. If you can see, it's kind of planar. There's no detail. It's just basically two planes. So we are going to add some detail in there to make it look like a scratch, like a dent. So let's add in a mix RGB. And what this is going to allow us to do is to pick how much of this noise texture we want to incorporate into that. Because if we just have the noise texture by itself, it's way too much detail. So here in the noise texture, bring the detail all the way up. And now you can see, all this crazy detail, but now it looks like worm lines or something. It's not quite cracks. So you can take this factor and bring it all the way to the edge and then just bring it in just slightly. And now we have, we have cracks. And then if you want to make it look a little bit better in terms of just scale, bring the scale down to C2. And now you have some serious cracks that you can add onto your models. All right, the last one we're going to do here is dense. We'll go back to the thumbnail image here. You can see these dents kind of going around in here, and that's also what we're going to make here. So dense, very, very simple. So color ramp, of course, bring that here, and we're going to be using a noise texture this time. So NOI, noise texture, color, right to the color ramp, and hit Control-T, 
get that standard texture set up. You kind of always want to do that. If you're planning on using this on other models, the object coordinate is going to be your best friend. So let's bring the detail all the way up. And then here in the, on the um, color ramp, bring the black portion this way, just like that. And if it's reacting like that, you can either do two things. Like you can see, they're kind of like mountains now. If it's reacting like that, and you, we actually want to make dents, um, you can do two things here. You can bring the white portion this way, which is what I'm going to do. Or what you can do is here on the bump node, hit invert. And it inverts this colors basically, and now it's going to be poking them out just like we had done before. So there's two options for you. So now that we have this color ramp doing, you can make the size of the dents just like that. And then bring the scale. I'm going to bring the scale up to, um, I'm going to say 30. And now we have that. And then we can bring this in to make them more sort of um, singular. And now we have a bunch of dents. So the next thing I'm going to show you is a really cool thing, which is how if you are going to purchase the pack, this is how you would use it. So what you're going to do is you're just going to click and highlight all the textures. I mean, all the nodes that you're using here and hit control G and that makes a group output. If you hit tab, that's what you made, but you need to take this group output. And basically what this is going to do is going to simplify all the nodes. If you had a massive node tree, this will be your best friend. So take the group output and plug it into the only one that you want to use to actually move things around. And that's the scale. So now when I go back to look dev, and I have this, I only see this. So I can go to scale and say, give it one. And I have a little bit of dense. Um, so that's how you do that. And so if you want to name it, let's call it dense. And then say we make a new material, just like this, at a bump node. Plug that there and say, I want to add those dents. Well, shift A, D, E, N because you made that node group, it's just like a new node in your section, and you plug that in there. And bam, you have dents. Of course, you can't really see it because of the color. Bring it all the way down. Now you have dents. So, again, if you are purchasing the pack, what you would need to do is go to File, Append, Find Surface Imperfections, go to Node Tree, and now you have all these. Let's go to Grunge 2, Shift A, type in Grunge, and we have it put that straight into the roughness and now we have grunge in our scene here so that's how you would use it here in the pack for those of you on patreon i hope you see this i'll make sure you guys know to watch the end of the video um but yeah so thank you guys for watching and i hope you learned something